Hey guys, welcome back to Those Board Gamers. Today we're going to be playing a game called Break the Code. And, um, let's get set up. Okay. So because we're just playing with two players, each of us get a code, a five-digit code, and then we have to figure out the other player's code. I'm going to set all these out. Upside down. I take a while. And then shuffle them up. So we don't know which one's which. And you take five. And take four. Five. And these go back in the box. Yeah. Now when you flip them over. And put them in order from smallest to largest. There are two of each number. So for the numbers 0 through 4 and 6 through 9, there's a white and a black. And there are two green fives. So if you get two of the same number, so if you get the white and the black 0, Put the black number first. So when you set up your code, you go from smallest to largest, from left to right, matching up with the letters on your cover, which on the outside look like this, but when you're looking at it to cover up your code, it looks like that. So you go zero, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to set up the question cards. Six questions out in the middle. And then um, when it's your turn to pick a question, you choose a question, whichever one you think would help you the most. And so um, if I were to say, how many of your tiles have black numbers? And mom were to say, er, and, and my opponent would say five. Then, um, then I would know all of her numbers are black, so I would have to check them all off as black on this little sheet. And it has, so because you can play with four players, it has three different, uh, people. And then if it's a five, it's always green. So the second you know they have five, you know they're going to have something green. Okay. So why don't you pick a question and ask? Okay, I'm going to pick a question. I'm going to pick how many of your tiles have black numbers. One. Two. No. Okay. So you have two. You always have to answer, no matter if you ask the question or if you didn't. You always have to answer. So just discard it. No. Then it's discarded and we flip over. Next question. Okay. What is the sum of your three rightmost tiles? So C, D, and E. Okay, let me do the math. Nineteen. What about you? Okay, um, let's see. Which neighboring tiles have consecutive numbers? It says which of your neighboring tiles have consecutive numbers? D and E. So if you said D and E, well for me, it's A and B. What are you talking about? Yours is A and B? Yep. Okay. Oh, and D and E. And D and E? Yes. Okay. 
Okay. What is the sum of your tiles? What is the sum of my tiles? Yes. So 19 plus A and B. 19 plus, well, that's easy, 20. What about you? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'm going to mark these down. Okay. Uh, mine was... Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven? Yeah. Uh, one second.